Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on Kendall's Corner. Today we are going to make the sour soup water that I previously mentioned with you all in my last chit chat video where we were discussing how I almost lost my life. So I am going to add a container, two bottles of water. Um, I didn't want to add three because I didn't want it watery. I want it really thick and creamy. I remember this sour sub drink doesn't have any type of sweeteners in it but just the natural sweetness of the ripe sour sub so once my sour sub is washed thoroughly because you want to make sure it's clean make sure and clean your hands because it is sour sub we are working with and your hands your fingers would be all over that sour sub so you want to make sure that you clean your hands properly i need to stress that because this is one drink you need your hands to be clean yeah so I'm going to remove all of the skin and place it into the water. I will also share some of the health benefits with you all. I do hope, by the way, you all got a chance to see that uh, chocolate mint and spearmint and orange peel extract video and also my last chit chat video where I discuss how I almost lost my life and also eating one of my sauce up from my tree so let's get back to this video so i am once thoroughly cleaned i am going to place it in the water like i mentioned i choose to use bottled water you can use your own water in the pipe boil it whatever so i use two bottles of water add my sour sup i am going to wash my hands after peeling it and i'm going to come back now and remove all of the juice from that sour sup. Mm -hmm. All the pulp, I'm going to make sure there is absolutely nothing left in that pulp. So what I would do to make sure that I extract as much from that pulp as possible, when I'm done or when I think I'm finished, I would taste one of the pulp and once it is bland and watery, I know there is nothing left but the seed and the pulp. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm squeezing it as much as I can as you're seeing on your screen. And then I'm going to wash my hand and start the other one. I like to let my sour sub get really, really ripe, you know? So this is the other one. So while I'm doing this, I would like you to take a look at some of the benefits. It's a really, really, really good fruit. So try and get some once in a while. So back to cleaning our second sour sub. It is so ripe and so sweet. I like to make sure that the sour sub is really full before picking it, even if it isn't showing any signs of being ripe or softness on the tree, I would leave it on the tree and make sure that it is full enough so when I pick that sour sup and it starts to ripe inside, I know it is going to be sweet because it was left enough on the tree and was full enough. So my two sour sup is really, really ripe and really, really sweet and i don't add milk or sugar this is not a sour sub punch as we would say it in the caribbean but it's more like a water or like a drink and you would just i would strongly suggest you don't use ice with this you make it you put it in the fridge and let it get real cold and you will enjoy it it is so 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 refreshing it is ridiculous <laughs> so i would implore you to go get a sour sup try this drink out and it has a lot of health benefits to it so all around you're getting a lot for your money when you purchase a sour sup or if you have sour sup in your in your yard and you don't know what to do with it this is another option you can just have it as a refreshing drink N nothing to make you feel guilty if you're about being healthy and trying to stay away from dairy products, you can still enjoy a good sour sub drink. So now I'm going to add the second sour sub that we just peeled to what we previously peeled and squeezed. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the first sour sub. Extract all of that juice. And this is going to be so thick and sweet because there's only two bottles of water that I used and the sour sub were really really sweet so i know this is going to be nice and creamy and really really refreshing so i'm extracting as much as i possibly can from the pulp 
making sure there is absolutely nothing left on that pulp when I'm done with it. And again, this is some of the health benefits that you would get if you consume this. So this is what it looks like once it is finished. You see how thick, you see how thick that is? And really refreshing. So once strained and placed in the fridge for like an hour, this is what it looks like. Really refreshing and delicious. A lot of health benefits. It's really good for you. And you don't have to feel guilty about having it if you're on a healthy lifestyle journey and remove dairy from your diet, you can still enjoy this drink. All of the links for the videos mentioned would be in the cards above and also in the end screen. Thanks again for the support.